What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, we fought the the Gaia boss, the Guardian of Gaia, I think is what it's called. Yeah, I just got done fighting it a few more times. And after one or two times fighting it like we did last time, I got tired of having to run around, jump over terrain, things like this. So I flattened out the area. I uh, spawned it in and I set some torches over here about where the outside of that circle area is. Yeah, let's get out of F5 mode. So about right here, so it's like almost 13 radius, something like that around the beacon. So yeah, I kind of flattened out the area, just made a big square. I was going to lay down obsidian and things like that, so it was impossible for me to break the blocks by accidentally clicking them. But I guess just making the train flat was pretty, pretty much good enough. The only other problem I'm having is that I accidentally hit these pylons or the beacon. <laughs> yeah. And then I have to replace them afterwards, which I guess isn't that big of a deal, but I was thinking it might be kind of cool. I don't think we're going to do it, but it might be kind of cool to have like a pressure plate redstone with like the, uh, the drawbridge from Tinker's Construct to place these blocks where they're supposed to be. We could spawn it in and get off the pressure plate and then they all sink down into the ground and then we don't have to worry about it and have a complete flat surface. That would be kind of cool, I think. But anyway, I fought this thing so many times now, I got nine more that I can fight it, but I don't think we're going to do that. We have all these grab, or I was going to say <laughs> grab bags for some reason. They're the dice of fate. Let's go ahead and roll a few of these and see what we can get. Uh, I don't even, the dice lands on one. You notice that transform into something else. What is that achievement? Be rewarded the fruit of Grizia, Grizia for a heroic feat. Okay. Um... I don't know what this is. I'll have to go find out. <laughs> Let's try another one. Do I have to wait until this is on a certain dot? Or does that even matter? Is that just a texture that's random? Lands on three. Seems to vanish in thin air afterwards. Oh, so we lost it. We didn't get anything. Try again. Oh, okay. Here we go. The ring of Loki. Oh, cool. So this is a ring I've never had before. A group equipable in the ring of slot. So what does a ring of Loki do in our arts? Craft any variety of bauble and wear it. Cool. Well, I have no idea what the ring of Loki does. I assume it's good. Question mark. I really don't know. Uh, well, let's open up a few more of these. The ring of Thor. Cool. Uh, vanish into thin air. What is this one? Key of the King's Law. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, we lost a few of them. Dang it. <laughs> I'm probably going to want to fight this again. I want that one ring. I think it's the ring of Odin. They gave me 10 more hearts or whatever and like immunity, immunity to fire and all sorts of other crazy stuff like that. I kind of want those blue hearts. So we might do this a little bit later. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and figure out what these uh, these extra rings do and what this key does because I have no idea. But yeah, let me go and figure out some of this stuff and we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, I couldn't help myself, so I decided to fight the, the boss a few more times. Yeah, I did it four more times here. Uh, so I found out the fruit, this one right here. This is like infinite food, so you can just keep right-clicking on it and it fills up your hunger bar, I guess. That's what I read, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything, huh? Do I have to shift right click? It's not doing anything. Do I? Is it because of my armor, perhaps? Let's try again. No. All right. So I don't know what this is supposed to do. I um. Yeah, I read that it's supposed to be infinite food that you can keep eating, and it's supposed to fill your hunger, but it doesn't appear to be doing anything. So I don't know about that. Yeah, I'd let myself get hungry and stay hungry so we could try that out, but apparently it doesn't work. So, Ring of Loki, this apparently allows you to set multiple spots and then you can place blocks in multiple locations at the same time. Uh, Ring of Thor is supposed to increase the the dig depth or whatever, the Terra Shatter or something like that. Anyway, we don't even have one of those, so it's not really something we can mess around with. Uh, Key of King's Law, though, this is sounds like it's supposed to be really cool. Let me grab a mana tablet. So this, you right click. So yeah, we can spawn a bunch of these things and then I think we have to, I think we shoot like an arrow. 
so yeah, that's um That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I have to say, that's pretty awesome. And get wrecked, Berry Bush. <laughs> I guess we should trade on something for real. Where's a monster? Oh! That cow, that is like a, the deadliest cow ever. Get wrecked, cow. <laughs> Do you even get drops? No, it deletes all the drops and stuff too, but it doesn't break any of the blocks, so that's kind of cool. Creeper. Oh my goodness, I could have so much fun with that. Yeah, I do believe it uses a little bit of mana. I think you have to have a mana tablet for that to work. I could be wrong. I haven't really given this extensive testing. But yeah, this is a really, really neat item. But yeah, I'm still looking for that Ring of Odin. So that's why I wanted to get a few more of these things. And we could try it out. Uh, no, not that. Give me Ring of Odin. What'd I get? Oh, that is the Ring of Odin. Nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, let's open up the rest of these. Thin air, thin air, thin air. Oh, well, okay, I guess that might have been one of the only things left to get. So apparently you can combine all of these together into one ring. One ring to rule them all. Yeah, the ring of Acer. I think this is supposed to be a combination of all of these rings together. I don't know if I want to do that or not. You guys let me know in the comments if that's a good idea to combine these into one. Because I might only want the effect of the ring of Odin, which is supposed to give me those blue hearts. That's what I've been looking for. For a little bit of time now. There they are. Well, at least there's one of them. Let me grab one of these things. Nom it. Nom it. There we go. There's our blue health. That's so cool. <laughs> Is there any other way to get higher health than this in this mod pack? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we do have all the Tinker's Hearts, and then we have this Ring of Odin, so that's a lot of health. All right, well, let's go ahead and move on to something else, guys. All right, guys, so I was taking a look at the creative mana pool, this recipe, this crazy, crazy thing that we're going to get to eventually. Yeah, I was taking a look at this, and we still need these primordial pearls. We still have to make these crystal clusters, but we have the stuff now to make these. An old Catalyst we have, the Gaia Spirit we have, all of these different slates we can make, or we have. One of the two, those aren't difficult. But then we need all these different runes, so I started checking out the runes that we did have. We've been getting some from those Gaia fights. But yeah, we've also had some in the system. So yeah, we need Rune of Mana and then all of the different elements. We have all of those. And then we need all of these sins, I guess the seven sins or whatever. Sloth, Gluttony, Envy, Wrath, Pride. I think we need Lust and Greed. That might be the only other two. I think, yeah, I got that confused. We don't need Gluttony. Uh, I'll have to double check and make sure that's all of them. And then we also need the four seasons. We have winter and summer, but we don't have autumn and I can't remember. It's spring. Yeah, these are the two that we need. So we're going to have to go and make these. So to get spring, we need the witchery stuff, which is kind of interesting. Uh, fire, water, imbued slate, and wheat. So yeah, that's not so bad. Autumn is just some leaves, spider eye, imbued slate, and then fire and air. I think we have extras of those, so that's not too bad. Uh, Lust requires air and summer, a couple of mana diamonds, and a demon slate, demonic slate. So yeah, we can do that. And then finally, the greed is water, spring, more diamonds, mana diamonds, I mean, and the demonic slate. So yeah, these aren't super difficult. We have everything uh, together that we need to make these things. Uh, let's look at these. How many more we have in the system? Yeah, we have quite a few of these different ones in here. Yeah, Wrath, Pride, Summer, Envy, Sloth, Winter. We have so many fire, so many air, some mana, uh, water, earth. Yeah, we got like lots of stuff in here. So we should be able to create those no problems. So that's something I'll be looking at doing here pretty soon. But yeah, like I said, the things that we are missing are these primordial pearls. So I believe you get these from the Thomcraft areas and we need those Eldritch Eyes. Yeah, these creepy things. Now, I've never done this before. I've never seen it done before. Uh, I think I read that you have to place one of these on all four sides of one of those pillar things that we destroyed over by the B area like long time ago. I was like, that's probably the worst thing I could ever do. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, let's go try and find ourselves another one. Actually, it said J. I know there is one. Okay, yeah, we're going the right direction. I know there is one over here somewhere. Here it is. Found it. And we got one of these guardians. 
Get wrecked. Cool. Yeah. So I've never done this before. Hmm. Let's put one of these eyes somewhere and see what happens there down. Oh. Okay. I think I put one here, but it's, oh, we got to put it on the other side. I see. Okay. So we have eyes on all of those. So now what do we do? <laughs> do we click it with a wand? Oh, we got another one of these guys. Well, I don't have a wand on me. Do I need like a crazy powerful wand? Ugh, I thought I'd be able to do this. <laughs> I can't. There's something else I'm obviously missing. So I guess it's off to do some research, figure out what else I need to do to open up this portal and we'll be back guys. All right, so I was just doing a little bit of research on what I needed to do, and apparently that was the correct wand. We only need 100 V of each aspect, which this has. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think the only thing I'm missing is I need to read that Crimson Wright books. The Crimson Wright's book. <laughs> only one book, lots of rights. Okay, so let's... I think that's what I was missing. Okay, so I right-clicked on that. <laughs> Yeah, I saved that because you guys told me that I'd need one of those a long, long time ago. We've been throwing all the other ones away. So now if we click on this with a wand, is something going to happen? I think we have to click down here. I think I'm wrong. There must be something else. Is there another thing? Okay, you know what? There must be something else that I unlocked in the Thaumonomicon that I'm probably going to have to do research on that I'm not aware of. Ah, opening the eye. I gotta learn this. Okay, okay. So we gotta do the whole scribing tools and all of that stuff. I thought it was just I'm going to learn that thing and then I could open it, but no. So let's take a look at how difficult this thing's gonna be. I haven't done one of these researches in a while. I like busted out all of these things at one time. Well, at a few different times, but it's been a while since I last did it. All right. Oh, you know what? I forgot that I moved my thing. It's been so long. Let's go over to the blood magic area. All right. So we put this here. Oh, weird. <laughs> I put it there and then it kind of went away. All right. So yeah, we're, I'm going to have to do the research online, figure out how to connect all the different dots. Yeah. I don't know how to do this by <laughs> off the top of my head. I've done it so many times. I should know by now, but I don't. So anyway, let me go ahead and figure out this research and we'll be back. Well, I think all I gotta do is just drop one more Ordu on here and we should have it. <laughs> I think that, there we go, got it. Man, what a complicated one. There wasn't a lot of room to move around and to get to like some of these, we had to go through multiple different paths and all of this stuff. Crazy, crazy, but yeah, we got it, cool. So opening the eye, let's go ahead and learn this. All right, did that unlock anything else? No. Oh, so we can craft the eye. I see. I think that's what you guys were telling me before. I only thought you could get them by killing the Eldritch Guardians, but yeah, that makes sense that we can, you know, make it. Cool. So now that we have this knowledge done, I think it's in here we need a 100 V. I think I saw that as I was closing it. Yeah. So I think we should be able to do this now. <laughs> Hopefully. So it'll be like the third time trying to click on that silly thing, but hopefully we'll be able to get it. Uh, oh, you know what else I should bring with me? The, uh, the thumb meter. If we do go there, I think there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to want to have research. So we should probably bring that with us. Is Do we have another wand? I don't know if we need another wand. I'm just going to bring another one since this one will be out of aspects. All right. I think we should be good. Let's come down here and kill this Eldritch Guardian once again. All right, all right, all right. So this is the one with the hundred. Click it. There it is. Oh, there's another Eldritch Guardian. So it says it's not harvestable. Do I just walk into this? Is this what I? Okay, that's what I do. <laughs> I just walk right in there. So research completed. The outer lands. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's grab this little guy. Cool. So I've already researched that stuff. I 
That sounds freaky. <laughs> ancient stone stairs, ancient stone. A tile, the block portal, nothing, the name. What is that sound? Is that the portal making the sound? That must be the portal. Strange crystals. Oh, okay, I can get those and those give me balance of shards. Can I break these blocks? I can. So what happens if I go down there? Does that do anything? Oh, that hurts me. <laughs> okay, so don't do that. <laughs> now I know. Now I know. Yeah, you can research the stairs. Okay, I don't think we've seen anything. Oh, glyph stone. Oh, that gave me some research. What is this? This is, oh, knowledge fragments. I see. That's cool. Okay, let's continue on here. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got, we got bad guys. They drop something. No. What are you? You are a sickly shambling husk. All right, let's. Oh, I can't. <laughs> it won't let me fly. I can't learn anything from you, so you're gonna get wrecked. What? What? What the heck was that? <laughs> I killed it and it turned into like a crab or something or a lobster. I don't know. What are these? Crusted stone. Can't research them. But they are blocking the path. Is there anything back here? Ah, there's just an opening. Okay, so what are you? You are called an eldritch crab. Aha. Uh -huh. They don't appear to be dropping anything. I don't know. I'm going to continue to follow the, like the left hand path. It's what you normally do when you're in a maze, pick either left or the right, and then you just follow it. Lots of urns, getting coins and potions and such things. I guess I should break those. I don't know if there's a reason not to. Oh, that's a different stone. Yeah, well, there's like nothing <laughs> special yet. Let's keep going. See what else we can find here. Hi, you're dead. That's another glyphed stone. That'll give me knowledge fragments, but we have so many knowledge fragments right now. Rune stone. Yeah, we have so many knowledge fragments. We left the, um, the spawner on that. What was it? The spawner that was doing the void seeds, the Eldritch Guardians. That must be the way we're supposed to go with all of those over there. Oh, check this out. It's like a little spawner. <laughs> can I break that? I can. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Okay, I think I want to kill the thing. Oh, I, I keep wanting to fly and then I can't. Okay, okay guys, okay, calm down, calm down. Yeah, I want to kill these opening things. All right, you know what? I think we're done. I don't know if there's anything. That thing was like dead and was running towards me. I don't know if there's anything back here that we need to see. I mean, there's like these things that we can open up. We got a diamond. That's cool. All right. Now my magnet's going to be freaking out. I need to get my red thing. We got an Eldritch Ice somehow. That's cool. All right. I'll just let that thing hit me for a moment. It doesn't really matter as far as I can see. Glowing a crusted stone. That's cool. All right, well, we'll leave that alone. I don't think there was anything down there. I kind of feel like this path is where we're supposed to go. <laughs> but we'll continue following. Oh, that was different. All right, we'll check that out here in a second. We'll continue following along the left-hand side just so we don't miss anything. All right, another one of those. Another one of those. Get wrecked, the little crab thing. Hi, you're dead. Yeah, so hard to hit. All right, and back here we have another glyphed stone. Not really that useful. Yeah, I saw there was like an urn there. Don't really care. 
Okay, so here we are in this room. There's something here, and I don't know what this is about. I don't see anything in particular that I'm supposed to do. Oh, that's funny. It like lets me fly for a second, and it's like, nope, you can't fly anymore. I can kind of get around for a little minute. Yeah, it feels like there's something here that I'm supposed to be doing, but I don't know what that is. I guess that what I should do. I should go do a little research and figure out uh, what we're supposed to do here. I know there's like a boss or something that we're supposed to fight. Can I get up on this thing? Thank you. Yeah, I know there's like a boss or something we're supposed to fight. So yeah, let me go do a little more research on this area and figure out what it is that we need. And we will be back, guys. All right, guys. So I think this is like the end of the area here. We need to get something to unlock this thing. It says ancient locking mechanism. Yeah, I believe there's like a tablet or something we have to find. That's what I was reading online anyway. Uh, yeah, I was just kind of cruising around trying to find some stuff here. So there are like some of these runes that do damage to you. Um, I guess it's right here. Yeah, you can see there's like little sparklies around there. They act like the uh, wisps, the hostile ones. So we need to keep going, keep following one wall or whatever. <laughs> yeah, eventually we'll come across the room that has the the key and then we're gonna have to backtrack once again to find <laughs> where we're supposed to be. Oh man, I guess find the ancient locking mechanism or whatever that thing was called. So yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of running around and you know, <laughs> exploring the maze. Eventually we will get it, I'm sure, but it's just gonna take a minute. So yeah, let me go ahead and continue on here. There's like, with our current armor and our tools and everything like that, there is real, no real danger as far as I'm aware. Oh, here we go. And that thing just got sucked into me. Yeah, there is no real danger of us dying. Well, you know what? I don't think we need ancient rock. Let's, can we scan that? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think there's any, <laughs> any way that we were gonna die, essentially, is what I was trying to say. So let's backtrack. We will follow the right wall this time since I wasn't paying attention to where we were supposed to be going. And I know that we will eventually end up back where we uh, were previously. So, hi, you're dead. Now you're a crab. How does that feel? This one? This one? One of these? Oh, you're a crab now too. I feel like we're close because this thing is shooting at me. Is it over here? Uh, there it is. Found it. Okay, cool. So we're here. Ruined tablet. I should probably throw this on the ground as well and scan it. Oh, my magnet. Magnet off. Let's scan this. Cool. Let's scan. Oop. You can turn it around. Can I scan anything else here? Your stomach gurgles. Oh, no. Ancient stone stairs. It doesn't really. Yeah, I guess it's just a locking mechanism. Ancient doorway. Ah, there we go. Cool. Anyway, uh, now that we're here, let's go ahead and stop messing around with that. We will put one of these in place. Ron Tigoth the Infested. So we have a boss or something we need to kill. Can I scan you? No, I guess I can't. Uh, all right, so how do I kill you, sir? Oh, okay, I'm doing damage to him. Look at that. Go get him. Yeah, I got him. Cool. Ah, that, that spider is, like, kind of dead. Okay, it killed itself. What is this? Oh, is that the primordial pearl? It is cool. All right, so that's what we have to do here. I'm trying to figure out what this electricity stuff is. Is that going to go away eventually? <laughs> it seemed like that was doing damage to me. Uh, all right, so we got the primordial pearl. That's pretty cool. Uh, I wanted to grab some food. All right, so I see that there are these things here. Eldritch Obelisk. Is these the same things that we saw in the overworld? I guess they kind of are. So will these allow us to continue on to different... Oh, Taint Tendril. 
Yeah, maybe this is what we do. We have to like put another set of the eyes here and then open up another portal. Hmm. I guess we could try it. So I could set a warp here, I imagine. Let me do that. Uh, add new. The outer lands. Commit. So is that all the way at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. So what we'll do is we will go back to the overworld. I will grab four more of those Eldritch Eyes, or I guess three more since we already collected one. And yeah, I guess I have to recharge my wand as well. We'll check it out, see if we can use these to go to another area. Aha, so I just came back here and I tried placing some of these eyes here and it won't let me do it. So no, it does not look like we can use these to go to uh, further areas inside the same one. We're probably just going to have to find more of those obelisks in the overworld, which is fine. There's plenty of them to be found. So yeah, I don't really know if there's a point to these or not. You guys are going to have to tell me in the comments or whatever. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to end up doing, we needed like four of these things. I'm going to go find myself another one of those areas and run through it real quick. I don't know how long that's going to take. <laughs> it seems like it takes a little bit of time to get through one of those, even though we're able to do it relatively easily. Yeah. Yeah. It's relatively easy, but it still takes a minute because it's a huge maze and you can't just like cheat through it or anything like that. Let's see, is there another one of these on the map somewhere? I thought there was another one fairly close by. Yeah, we had that one there, and then there was also this one uh, right behind the base, essentially over by the B area. Well, anyway, I'll find another one. I'll just head back there. Um, hopefully it's a different area, and we can go through it again, and we'll be back. All right, guys, so I found another Outer Lands area, and we found the Ancient Locking Mechanism, and I, oh, I guess I got a mob soul from one of these crab things. Yeah, I did get the Ruined Tablet. Something walking. Hey, don't be creeping on me. All right, let's do this again. Maybe we'll get a different boss this time. I think I read that there was like four different bosses. Crimson Portal. Okay, am I... Is that the boss that's just going to spawn chests and things? Oh, I guess it's spawning these guys. So what do I do? Do I have to, do I have to kill the portal itself? Oh, well, <laughs> that was pretty simple. Cool. Uh, give me that primordial pearl. Let's open these crates. I don't know if we got anything else that's worth looking at. What do we got here? We got just some of like, the crimson cultist stuff. Void seed. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Can we... Are these the thing that I can take with me? What are these? Crimson Colt Banner. Yeah, I've seen those over by those little things. Uh, I guess the portals to these places. Uh, ancient Doorway. Did I ever... Yeah, you know what? I did scan these because that's the same block that's around here. Cool. Well, I need to keep finding these and I need to get a couple more of these pearls. Let's do it. Well, this is kind of interesting. I'm in the third area now yeah i just found the ruined tablet here and this room's got like windows to the outside and i can see like bedrock and i can see sky <laughs> but as soon as i break a block yeah then it turns into that i wonder if i can throw an ender pearl out there is this something we should do i feel like this might be bad yep that was bad <laughs> okay uh don't do that <laughs> i just had to see what happened for science now yeah i think it might be the ring of odin or it might be the wyvern armor something is allowing me to be completely hungry and it's not causing me tick damage so hmm anyway i think the where was it <laughs> now you gotta find that portal i was just at i thought it was over here uh, all right. Well, anyway, let me go ahead and find where I just was a moment to go. I could have sworn it was here. Maybe it was over. Yeah, maybe it was behind me a little bit. Yeah, let me find the portal where I'm supposed to be at, and we'll be back for the boss fight. All right, guys. So here we go. Here's number three. I guess I got two Eldritch Eyes from going through this one now. Warded Giant Taint Tentacle. Great. You know, have I scanned any taint stuff in this series? I don't think I have. Yeah, we just discovered new research. Awesome. Tainted soil. 
What else we got all up in here? Fibrous taint. Yeah, I guess that's all scanned. Word of giant taint tentacle. I can't get that. What about infested? There we go. There's more research, I think. All right, cool. Well, anyway, let's kill you. Oh, I should probably scan the little taint spider thing. Come here. Tainted crawler. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's kill these things. Die, 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 die. <laughs> Get wrecked, teen tentacle thingy. Yeah, that spider's kind of dead, but not really. Yeah. Toughest mob in the game right there. Okay, so... How did we get a weak blood shard? And where's my primordial pearl? Uh huh. So do you not get primordial pearls 100% of the time or do you not get them from this particular boss? All right, well, I, you know what? I guess I could turn my magnet on. That might help. Yeah, we got a weak blood shard. Huh. Well, we did not get a primordial pearl that I can see. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to find two more. <laughs> well, darn. Where did the time go, guys? Yeah, we've reached the end of the episode, unfortunately. We still need to get two more primordial pearls. Alternatively, we could try and duplicate it, but we'd need a bunch of the crystal cluster things, which themselves are pretty expensive. I guess we'll have to see. Uh, it is kind of hard to find those portals <laughs> to the outer lands. I mean, I found a few of them and I know I've discovered them. I've never set location. So I kind of have to fly around and try and find them all over again, which, you know, we can do. It might just be easier to make the crystal clusters. I don't know. I haven't tried that yet. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. Hope you guys liked the episode. Uh, be sure to leave some comments down below and let me know if there's other tips and tricks and things I could do better. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.